Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving in for the very last time into Halo 3. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we are gonna be diving into our series finale of Halo 3. What a journey it's been, and not very long at all. I believe this is only our, what, fifth episode of, of the game, and uh, it's not very long, but man, it packs a punch, and there's no wasted motion in this game. And uh, we are getting ready to take Cortana and Master Chief, and they are going to bring the original index from the first Halo, uh, and they're going to try to wipe out the flood. Light up the ring, as they said. And uh, I'm not really sure how deep we're gonna get into this as far as length. Um, this might be just a quick, quick cutscene, or uh, this could be, you know, just a quick level, or maybe this is a big, epically long level. I'm not really sure. Uh, but Master Chief and Cortana have been reunited, and now uh, she's got the original index. She looks like she might be struggling with a little bit of PTSD after being so, um, like, you know, locked in with the grave mind. And we saw the grave mind reaching out for them as they flew away and they got her away. I'm not really sure. I don't think the grave mind died. So I'm looking forward to seeing. We'll see. I, I guess if they light up the ring, that's what it is. If they light up the ring <clears throat> and they can destroy the flood, I would imagine that would destroy the grave mind as well because the grave mind is part of the flood, if I'm right. Uh, but I'm excited to see how this ends. You know, I know that there's a long series, uh, but I also know that at least this particular um, story was meant, as, I believe, as a trilogy. So we're going to see how this gets wrapped up, and then I'm looking forward to playing the other games with you guys as well. Uh, before we dive into this, I do want to remind you uh, to stay tuned all the way to the end because I will give you my final review of Halo 3 uh, when we're done. Uh, I usually like to give those reviews right in the moment, you know, uh, right as the credits are rolling and, and we take some time and talk about it after. Um, but I also just want to say, if you've been enjoying this Halo 3 series or even all these Halo games we've been playing, the, the Halo universe series, you could say, as a whole, uh, then do me a favor and click like on this video and let me know. It also lets other people know they may enjoy it as well. Uh, also, subscribe to for more content to the channel. Uh, we have a lot of videos to watch and we keep amassing more and more, so come on in, join the family. Uh, we're on Discord as well, the link for that is down below, and of course you can always hop on over to the Patreon page by going to this link right here for $5 a month, you get early release content. For $10 a month, you get that plus exclusive content, but it doesn't matter what you sign up for, uh, you can also be a part of our weekly Wednesday night Patreon exclusive live streams. So much fun to hang out as a community over there. Just wanna say a special Thank you to our current list of patrons. Uh, I love you guys. You guys know that. I tell you that all the time at, with fear of it just sounding like like white noise now. Uh, but it really is true. I love this community and I can't thank you guys enough. If you are out there and you would like to be on this amazing list of people and get shout outs in every video and it's also support the channel, it would be very well appreciated. Then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, it's time to dive back into the world for the very last time of Halo 3. Well, okay, guys, I had to reload this. Uh, it got a little funky. For some reason, I keep having issues with Master Chief Collection. Uh, okay, here we go. We got Master Chief, we've got Cortana. And I guess we're gonna... We are aboard. Here we go. Humans and elites. Will you hmm. not come with us, brother? No. This is our fight. Oh, yeah! Arbiters with us. There we go. Nice. Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better than close, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Roger that. And ma'am, it's good to have you back. Wow, look at that. Beautiful artwork. It's very snowy.
Halo. It's so new, unfinished. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll head for the portal. Have a long go home. Okay. What in the world? Well, maybe it's because I, um... It's so funny how you have different weapons. You guys were telling me that that's the one difference with this and some of the other games is uh, that this game does give you new weapons each time you start. I don't think I have this. Did I? Rocket launcher? Did I have that? Maybe I did last time I played. I don't know. Go back and watch that. So Cortana said this hadn't finished yet. I wonder if it's still, I don't know what you call it, terraforming. And I wonder how long it takes for Halo. Now we got weapons, so I mean, obviously we're gonna see some battle here. Okay. Oop. I'm so glad that Arbiter's with us. And he's like fighting with us to the end. Oh goodness. I was afraid I'm gonna hurt myself when I fall. Whoa! Oh no. What's this? We got flood. Poop. Did you think me defeated? Oh, grave mind. Flood dispersal pods. The control rooms at the top of that tower, Chief. Go! Okay, I get the impression this is just something we run at, but. Ah! Run! Keep running! There should be ramps that lead to the top. Check the other side. Okay. Ooh, I think I almost fell off the edge. Ah! Look, someone pooped in the snow. Or maybe not. Maybe that was blood. Ah! Oh crap. Guys, we gotta run. This is bad news. It's getting very dark. Uh up this way? Guys, you're coming up for. Run, 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 run! I got you covered, Chief. Meet you at the top of that tower. Is that? I don't know who that was. Oh, oh! This is uh, the ramp that she was talking about. Oh my gosh! This is stressful. This is uh, this is like when we uh, what was it another level ago. Keep moving, Chief. I got your back. These bugs don't die. This was the problem we had in the, in the level where we were helping Cortana. There it is. I only got four bullets left, guys. I don't know if I can shoot grenades at these guys. I'm doing okay if I hit them. Melee. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to have to pull out the big guns. Arby's here. Whoa, okay, we got um, Guilty Sparks um, drone guys helping us now. Oh, I, did I get more ammo too? I did, now I can be a part of the fight here. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh, I have a bad feeling. Whenever a game gives you a rocket, you usually have to, like, shoot a ship down. I probably need to save my ammo. Do I need the rocket, or can I just switch to this? I've been, this, this has been good to me, but not for long. I'm tracking additional dispersal pods. It'll be hitting any minute. Well, Chief, Arbiter, let's move. I know it sounds crazy, but I just have a feeling I'm gonna need this rocket. They gave me a rocket. Oh, how in the world did I do that? Hang on. There, I want this one. And the rocket launch. I have a feeling, just in case there's a big boss fight here. Grave mine. Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? It's trying to rebuild itself on this ring. Hurry, control room's close. Did they change the Gravemind voice when they did the remaster in Halo 2? Because this, that thing felt more like, ah, oh, yeah, blah, 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 like that. Where this one feels more, I don't know, like, verily I say unto thee. You know, like, I don't, <laughs> did they change it? Who is friend? Who is foe? Where the other one was like, hey, blah, 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 blah. at least it felt like it did. Maybe I'm wrong. I may be totally remembering this wrong. It just, I think that's what, what it was like in Halo 2. Do I go this door? Well, oh, it's opening. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Oh, wow. This is it. Yank me, Chief. I'm not gonna lose her, too. Nope. He's one of my favorite characters. I'm glad that Johnson's writing this out to the end with us. Oh, hello. Wonderful news. Now he's back. The Everything's coming full circle. Complete. Terrific. Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. We don't have a few more days. B but a premature firing will destroy the Ark. Deal with it. We'll destroy this installation. <gasps> unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. No. Okay, he shot Master Chief too. We know Master Chief's not gonna die. So Johnson's still alive. You are the child of my makers. Inheritor of all they left behind. You are Forerunner. But this ring is mine. Freaking turncoat. Oh my gosh. I take no pleasure in doing what must be done. You do not deserve this ring. I have kept it safe. How is he like the most. He's like the toughest thing. Oh. Okay. Johnson's alive. Nice. <laughs> oh wait. Uh oh. Uh, let's use what he used. 
That did it. This weapon's awesome. Okay. Nope, we'll keep it. No, not that music. I'm That's the not. someone's gonna die music. No, no, you're not. Don't let her go. Don't ever let her go. Come on, he was gonna make it. No, no, pick him up, we're going. We've already lost Miranda. I was convinced. Chief, I'm so sorry. I was convinced that you wouldn't lose Miranda and Johnson. And because we lost Miranda, I was convinced, okay, Johnson's going to make it right here to, to the end. not over. We're going to get some big boss fight again, aren't we? Alright, well. I guess not. The way the world ends. I am sorry, Spock. But come. <sighs> oh, man. You can't kill Sergeant Johnson. He's been there since like the very first cutscene in the first game. I don't know. I don't like that one bit. Oh, and now, okay, we have a running thing. Just run. Uh, probably down this hallway here. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, yeah, there's no run. Get to the frigate. It's over there. We still plasma have a rifle. We end with a plasma rifle. What do we do? Find the doorway in the cliffs, Chief. The dawn is on the other side. I just realized something. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh wait, no, I can go this way. Nope, I can't go up there. There's our, oh, Arby's, okay. Velvatima. He, he went up over like the snow cliff or something. See that doorway further on? Get to it. Okay. Up here? Yeah, oh, okay. I thought you had to go all the way back down where you came. I'll follow him. He knows where he's going. I can't believe we have just lost Johnson. I really liked his character. He was cool. Weekly Warriors. 
Oh, these remind me of the, was it the first Halo? Ah! Run, just run. Let the droids fight it out with him. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. I'm trying. We're Tana, but there's no run button. Oh jeez! See that coming. There, Johnson's Warthog. Okay. Watch, well, this is gonna be some final Warthog run now. Come on, Spartan. Go, go, go. Okay, we're going. Goodness, follow the trail. All right. Uh, oh, goodness. Things are blowing up around us. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um. Oh, geez. Oh, look. There's like a. Is this a road? Oh, goodness. This, I will say, this hasn't been as flippy as it was in the first Warthog run. Uh, follow the arrow. Uh, go over here! Okay. okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're bouncing too much. I don't like the bouncing. It's like the first Warthog run. Okay, we got it though. This is better though. It is better. Okay, that's taking out stuff. Or the road. Okay, whatever. Oh, we ran him right over. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, uh, this way. Um, this way. Hey, not bad. Okay. Uh, these. And more road, more red road. Follow the red brick road. Follow the red brick road. Follow, 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 follow the red brick road. Uh, I guess we're going down. Down again! Okay. Man, these things are falling out. Oh, shoot. Oh. Jeez. Okay, don't, don't, don't get the bouncy thing. Don't do the bouncy thing. Okay. So far, so good. Oh crap, we're gonna go over it now! <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, this way! Nope, this, okay. Uh, this, this, over here. Uh, oh my goodness! Uh, it says this way. Oh crap! <laughs> can, we make it, can we make it? We can make it! Oh, give us a. Red road. Follow the red brick road. Follow the little red road. Follow, 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 follow the little red road. Those are the grossest munchkins and munchkins land. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Man, everything's just falling. Falling all around us. We gotta hurry. I bet that looks like the opening right there. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. This is so intense. 
But I will say I'm much happier with this than I was in the first Halo game. Nice. Okay. Now we gotta go more for the the floor falling out. If it even does that. Okay, oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Oh man. Oh gosh. Okay, this way it says. This is very guys, I it's very tense. Jeez. Uh, okay, this way, this way. Ah! Oh my gosh, we're gonna tip over! No, we didn't tip over. We didn't tip over. Oh, now we're gonna tip over. Nope, keep it going. Come on, no. Okay, drive, drive, drive. Oh gosh. Turn, take a turn. Firing sequence initiated. I don't even know what that means, what she just said. Oh, we're going over. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so don't take the ramp. Uh, how far did it set us back? Okay. Now don't tip over this time. I think we did it right when we went up this way. Yep. Oh, I guess we didn't have to go. Wait, is this the ramp that we took last time that we messed up? No. That's the same thing though, where they, oh, we didn't fall out though this time. But it's that same area. It's like really easy to, to roll the vehicle. Okay, so go around this time. 90% firing sequence initiated. Yep. Oh, that looks like a ship right there. Oh, this is where we're gonna wonder. <laughs> Not again. That was the same thing we did last time. Okay. This is it, guys. This is it. It's an arrow. Done it, Chief. Jump. I'm trying to do the best I can, Cornot. Go on, go on, go on, go on again! Oh, yes. Cutscene. I was afraid I was going to actually have to land it. Woo! Boom! Mm. Oh, no! Turns out I'm not missing the tank after all. All right. We're good. Get out, get out, get out. Hang on. Is there anything else we're gonna have to do? Oh no! Well, the tank got me in the end. <laughs> there we go. Climb up. Oh, peaceful. This better not be like Master... Well, no, Master Chief's in the other games. He's not going to die. Unless he dies and they rebuild him or something. If we don't make it... We'll make it. That's right, Master Chief. Oh, his name is John. Okay, then. That was way better than the first uh, Warthog run. We get an epilogue. For oh my us, God, the storm has passed. The war is over. I beat the part time. Let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. Now I'm sad again because of Miranda and For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice 
and unshakable conviction that I really fight, want Johnson to make it. Our fight was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fall. Where's Master they Chief? They all of us. He was with Arbiter, right? They shall not be forgotten. Or did Arbiter... I must have missed something. Did they get separated, or is Master Chief, like, right there? That music is amazing. Really good soundtrack. I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks. Oh, maybe that's not Arbiter, maybe that's Standing the shipmaster guy. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy. They're talking about, are they talking about, there had to be, t that line! Were it so easy, they think Master Chief is dead. But Arbiter, that line, he said it again. Were it Things so easy. Without the Prophet's lies, Cloud of my vision, I would like to see a little more. To know that it is safe. Fear not, for we have made it so. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. <laughs> Velvatima is the uh, Captain Kirk of the Covenant in memory of those fallen. What is that, guys? Is that a one seventeen? Was that scratched? I don't understand. Are we gonna get a main menu? Is that it? Can't just be the master. Chief, <sighs> can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you too. Yes. Okay. What happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces. With a number on the Ark. Mm. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Oh, wow. Well, some of us made it. Oh! I cut the ship in half. <laughs> Was there anybody else on that ship? Wow, the lighting looks really good. The the flashlight. Oh, his flashlights, yeah. So now what? That you did it. Truth and the covenant, the flood. It's finished. It's finished. drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years, even. I miss you. Wake me when you need me. She's gonna get bored, because she's, like you guys said in the comments, she's not a normal AI. If Guilty Spark got bored, if she has to sit there by herself, she's practically human. Did I give her, like, some playing cards or a Nintendo Switch or something like that to keep her busy? Play some Breath of the Wild? Play Tears of the Kingdom. That might last about as long as it takes for them to find help. She looks lonely already. Wow. 
All right, thanks for playing Halo 3 and thanks for being a part of the engine that drives us toward our ultimate goal of world domination. Thanks for giving Bungie a community that has kicked a bottom throughout the years and will continue to kick a bottom. I can't finish it. Guys, you told me to um, make sure I queue up the credits on like a video and react, like just to get a YouTube video so we can actually get some finality to this. And also you guys talked about the music. So I, I found this YouTube video and I wanted to just jump into it. What an ending. So Master Chief, is, and one thing I just noticed actually was when I looked this up, that cutscene we just saw with Master Chief and Cortana was an after credits cutscene. Um, so this probably ended with that when it showed the memorial and, and and again i'm wondering maybe you guys can help me out with the one one was that 117 that someone scratched on it 117 is that like master chief's number or something like that i didn't get that part but i i knew there was some sort of significance to it and so i guess that would have been the normal ending to the original game and then you would have gotten the cutscene after the credits uh, with him and Cortana. These are nice looking credits, by the way. It's not just like a black screen with a scroll. Special thanks to GameAnyone.com, I guess. That's the people who did this video. Guys, what a game this was. Um, really, really fun. Um, oh, Here's the Keith David. I always forget his name. Keith David. Man, I didn't. You know, that was great. I, you know, we'll talk about this in a second. Um, artificial intelligence cast. Nice. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the game more as far as like my final thoughts on it. Um, Super disappointed though about Sergeant Johnson and Miranda dying. I, I thought when Miranda died, like they wouldn't do us wrong with both characters. I thought that, okay, if Miranda dies, then she'll be the one in the end. If there's like a ceremony or something, we'll remember Miranda and you know, but Sergeant Johnson goes out, you know, all tough with us in the end. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Man. He still went out as a hero. He said, let me go out with a bang. I'll tell you what, Halo 3 didn't waste any emotion at all. It was a condensed game, I thought. I mean, we've this is the this might be the shortest playthrough I've done on the channel. And I could have broken it up like I did with the other games, but the levels just weren't that big. Um, when we played Halo 1 and Halo 2, I would do um, like an episode per chapter. But in this one, the chapters were like 30 minutes long. And maybe that's just because I played it on easy mode. But, uh, you know, they were only 30 minutes long, so I usually would do two episodes. But I, I believe this game, I saw it was only like nine, it was nine chapters altogether. So, I mean, this was a short game. Um, but I guess I get how they wanted to get Halo 2 out. And you guys told me in the comments that Halo 2 came out like after only eight, eight or nine months of development, which I think is amazing. Um, there it is. It notices this looks like the end of the credits right here. Literally, hundreds of friends, family partners, colleagues, community members, and YouTubers. Don't forget that. Well, we weren't really around when this game came out. Oh, YouTube was around for like two years when this game came out. Um, anyway. Yeah, I, 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 Halo 3, I guess originally, was, there was supposed to be more of a longer ending than Halo 2, but they decided we don't have time for that. Let's get the game out. And, and now, and now I get it. You guys, one of you guys said this in the comments, and I, I, I totally agree. 
when you're playing Halo 2 and you get that abrupt ending, without Halo 3, you're like, ugh, you know? But then you play the whole trilogy, and I think you can appreciate the cliffhanger more. Um, because then you have this more full game to play instead of just a, an ending. And this was a good game, guys. There was no wasted motion in this game. And I really enjoyed every level. I struggled a lot with the Cortana level just because I kept dying and trying. I got kept getting lost and I kept stressing out. But that's on me. That's not on the game. That's, that's my fault. Um, the ending of this, I liked a lot better. As far as it was so much better with the war than the Warthog run was. So uh, that's going to be it. And let's talk about the game. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And that is going to wrap up our time with Halo 3. Uh, very short-lived series. I I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure this is actually the shortest series I've done on the channel. Uh, just five episodes to get through such a, a, an awesome legendary game. Um, uh, honestly, really good. Uh, excellent end uh, to this story as far as the trilogy goes. You know, we've we've it, it kind of wrapped up. Like I can see. I mean, obviously, they, you know, this is like, was at least at one time, maybe still is, but at least at one time, you could look at this and say this was the franchise of, of Xbox. This is why people bought an Xbox was for Halo. And this was their main claim to fame. And I can, so for that reason, I can see why they would want to keep, uh, keep going back and playing, uh, or I'm sorry, making Halo games. But um, at the same time, you can also see how this was made originally to be a trilogy by Bungie. And um, it, it's great. You know, obviously, they left it open with Master Chief and Cortana to keep going. And I've got questions about that in a second. Um, but they wrap things up. Um, you know, we saw the sad passing of Miranda and Sergeant Johnson. Uh, that was sad. But, and we, we also saw, you know, the character arc come to an end with Guilty Spark. Um, and, and actually, that, meant, that means a lot more to me now that I've gone through and watched the Terminal videos about, about Guilty Spark. Because now we realize... You know, for what was it like a hundred thousand years or something like that? He, uh, you know, he's been around a long time, and uh, you know, I thought that was really interesting. Um, you know, and then we finally saw him get blown up. We had to do that, um, and, and we did that still with the help of Sergeant Johnson. So uh, you know, he went out as a hero. Um, we saw Arbiter get his revenge on the prophet of truth we saw arbiter and master chief really bond and go out together you know and finish this story together so what started out as enemies and then we saw their parallel stories being written in halo 2 until they finally came together at the end of that game and then um you know that's when we saw them really take on the role of of bonded brothers um, and that was really neat. And I loved, um, I loved how they thought that he died. Uh, Master Chief died at the end. And Arbiter said that line again. And, uh, you know, it was like he knew, you know, like, you know, basically he's like, look, I, I know. Oops, I got something stuck on my arm. He, uh, he said, you know, you could tell Arbiter knew there was something more uh, than just Master Chief dying. He's probably out there. Um, what an incredible story, really well written. And it makes me wonder, like, if this was, if this game was around, like, made for the first time now, where they could do so much more, probably even in length, uh, if what they would have done any differently with the story. But honestly, like, the story holds up. It's super strong. And, and I also know that it does just continue on now. Um, so that was that was awesome. So here's my question. I was starting to talk about this. I said I would talk about it in a second. 
So Master Chief goes into, you know, that like chamber sleep kind of thing that you always see in the sci-fi movies. And Cortana's like, okay, I'll just sit here and wait for you to wake up or just wait for someone to find us, you know. Um, but at the same time, that makes me wonder, does that close out the story arcs now for everybody else? And does Master Chief and Cortana stay like this for like a long time? Like, does Master Chief finally get found like hundreds of years later when everybody else is gone? I don't know. This is very interesting. Does this send Master Chief and Cortana to a totally different world? A totally different set of circumstances now to keep the story going? I don't know. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen next. Um, you know, but I love the bond they have. And I'm, I'm encouraged to know you guys were telling me in the comments uh, that over the next few games, as we get into more story, uh, I'll be able to see a little bit more of why they're bonded so tight. And, and also maybe get a little bit more. One thing that you guys said is, is um, one of you guys said that where I'm at in the story to talk about it too much or you guys to tell me too much would just spoil it. Um, as far as the lore goes and answering a lot of these questions I've had. Uh, but one of you guys did say, we'll just leave it like this, Cortana is not a normal AI. So it makes me wonder what is it about her uh, that, that makes her so human and everybody relates to her so much. Nobody treats her like a Google assistant, you know, they, they treat her like she's legit, like a person, like a, a human on the, on the crew. Uh, guys, I love this. Um, and here's what I'll, I want to talk about, too. I'm not just going to rate this game, give it my own little knee-jerk reaction here and review. Uh, I also want to talk about the series as a whole, as a trilogy. Uh, because I feel like... I know there's a there's a divide. There's, there's a divide among Halo fans, uh, just based on the comments I've read, of people who say that, you know, the off-ramp for them is the trilogy and just play the trilogy and don't bother with the other games. And so many of you, and probably more of you, have said, hey, you need to experience the whole thing. Uh, but, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to review each game individually, and then I'm going to tell you what I think about this as a trilogy, and then I'm going to tell you um, you know, like eventually as we finish off all the Halo games, and I'm pretty sure there'll be another one after Halo Infinite eventually, but, um, first let me just say with Halo 3, um, I was, uh, just graphically really impressed by the graphics considering that was the one that I've played so far that didn't have a remaster. Um, you know, did it look as pretty as the other two? No. I mean, Halo 2 was like, the remaster version of Halo 2 especially was like watching a movie. And I really, really liked that a lot. Uh, so it did kind of make the characters look dialed back a little bit in this game in comparison, but the graphics held up, you know? It, it wasn't distracting. That's the one thing I'll say. I didn't find the graphics, uh, you know, it, the comparison being so dialed back, I, I didn't find that to be distracting to the story at all. If anything, I was really excited for the story in this game. And the game mechanics were the same. Um, you know, I don't think we lost the step there. It was awesome. And uh, Halo 3 was was wonderful. Um, the story is great. The graphics are great. The game mechanics are Halo mechanics. I've talked about that before. I will tell you guys this, and there's going to be people who agree with me, and there are going to be people who think I'm crazy. And uh, some of you guys have mentioned, I don't really see what the problem is. Quit complaining about the Warthog. Um... I think the Warthog was so far improved in Halo 2 and 3 uh, than it was in the first game. That said, that's one aspect. I am a Halo fan now. I love the story, Master Chief. I love Cortana. I love Arbiter. I love, I'm very attached to this story. And uh, it now breaks my heart to know that there's a new series out that's doing it wrong and everybody hates it. But uh, I will say, I don't know that I will ever be won over to the Warthog. Uh, and I say that not to offend anyone. If you guys are good at it and you love it and that's your thing, you grew up on the Warthog and you like it, that's awesome. The Warthog's probably my least favorite thing about Halo. Uh, you know, the story, the gunfighting, the characters, all of it, I love that. 
Uh, I, the Warthog is a little lost on me. Uh, you know, I don't like trying to drive it still. It is better than what it was. Uh, but even, I was really surprised I didn't die more uh, on that last run we just did. Uh, I really, once we started driving that and I started seeing all the explosions go off, instantly I became very fearful that this was another Warthog run um, from the first game. And it didn't seem that way. I mean, I only, die, I got turned over once as far as like falling out of the vehicle and then I did go off the cliff when I hit that ramp but for the most part I didn't die and uh, and so it was exhilarating it was fun and that was I would have liked the initial warthog run from the first game to be more like what we just played um I I, I will probably never be won over to the warthog and the fact that so many of you guys have told me that the warthog is just a permanent part of the series and the same driving mechanics exist on it throughout the whole series I'm like, okay, that's my eye roll moment. But um, no, that that's it. You know, uh, the mechanics of the game I do enjoy. The, the story I, I thought is obviously wonderful. The character development is wonderful. The graphics are great. Um, so I'm gonna give, Halo 3 was short, but it got to the point. Um, is it a perfect 10? I don't know. I would love to see Halo 3 remastered. I would really like to see it remastered. Um, I would love to see it get the Halo 2 treatment. And I actually think maybe that's why some of you guys told me that you wouldn't have been so generous as I was giving a 10 to Halo 2. Um, and I did that because the graphics were amazing for me and, and the story was the way it was cinematically told with those graphics. I'm tempted to give, I love Halo 3. I mean, I'm tempted to, to give it a 9.5. Uh, I think I would, I would give Halo 3, uh, I don't know. I would give it a nine, maybe a 10. A 9.5 for sure, but as a trilogy, I would give the Halo trilogy absolutely a perfect 10. Uh, what an experience! And if I if I didn't play another game, if they didn't, if they hadn't made other games, I would be satisfied. Uh, other than the fact that my dear Master Chief and Cortana are floating around space, but that you know at the time that probably was left open too. Like, hey, we want to make more games. But, you know, this is a way to wrap up all the story arcs of the trilogy and still leave it open for, a, a, you know, another game. Um, but, yeah, I, I would say definitely as a whole, my entire experience so far has been a perfect 10 uh, with the Halo trilogy. I'm looking forward to the next games. Uh, now, I will say I was looking online and I saw a, a chronological listing of how they came out in order and that's how i want to play some of you guys have asked what are you going to do next my plan is to play these games in the order that they were actually released and i believe based on what i saw that actually the next game was halo wars and then i think the next one after that was either reach or odst i'll take another i'll take another look now i know that both reach and odst are on the master chief collection uh i'm pretty sure halo wars must was probably a part of game pass so i can probably get it that way but here's the thing guys um and i don't want anyone to be upset by this just please understand R rts real-time strategy games are are something that I'm not a big fan of. I've only played them a little bit. Uh, I remember, was it maybe back in the late 90s, seeing uh, my friend uh, Kurt, who you guys, some a lot of you guys have uh, heard of on the channel. Um, he's, he was the one who exposed me to like, uh, I think it was Warcraft 2. Um, you know, that was like my first experience with a real time game like that. Uh, I'm not a fan of that style of gameplay. Uh, so much so, I will be honest with you, I really don't want to play Halo Wars. But uh, I did manage to find on YouTube, I haven't watched it yet, but I have managed to find a couple of videos and one specifically that apparently, I didn't realize this, but that game also got a remaster. 
and somebody made a video of the cutscenes to tell the story like they made a movie with it. And so that is actually gonna be our next Halo video is I'm going to do a video reaction to Halo Wars as a story. Uh, now, you guys mentioned this in the comments and I did find this in the video that for those missing times where like you kind of need the gameplay to fill in a little bit, apparently what it said in the title of the video is that they did put gameplay in it when it needed to be there to fill in uh, the story. So um, that's what we're gonna do next time. We're gonna watch Halo Wars, and we're gonna we're gonna do a reaction to that, and then whatever game comes next, ODST or Reach, that'll be our next game. Uh, I think those were the next two games, right? ODST and uh, Reach came out, and then I think after that was it Halo Four after that, which we'll get into. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. Um, I don't know much about those games. I think somebody said that Reach was more like a prequel uh, and that ODST was like an expansion pack of Halo 3. So I don't know where we're gonna be going next as far as where the story's gonna be taking me, but I'm super excited to do that. So we will do that Halo Wars video coming up very soon, probably over the next few days. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching that with you guys. That'll just be a fun movie time. Uh, to sit back with some popcorn and a drink and watch watch uh, Halo and uh, I'm really excited and actually I'm eventually I was actually thinking of doing like a reaction and like a little little bit of a watch to some of the other Halo films that you guys have talked about uh, recently on the comments I guess there's some that are kind of like blah but there's actually some really good ones too uh, which I'd be interested in that fill in the story a little bit more uh, but guys that's gonna do it I've been rambling a long time you know that's what I do at the end of these videos I, I give you my full honest end of the series uh, review and reaction uh, I give the Halo trilogy a perfect 10. I, I'm gonna give Halo 3 a nine and a half. Hopefully no one's offended that I didn't give it a perfect 10. I love the game. I just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the 9.5 on it. Uh, you know, and I'm feeling like a remaster would probably push me over to a 10. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I loved the story. I loved how it ended, except for the fact my boy Sergeant Johnson and Miranda, but especially Sergeant Johnson. I really liked him. But uh, we honor and salute you, sir. Thank you for your sacrifice. And uh, man, hopefully we get another character. You know, these games always give you a descendant. Who knows, you know, maybe we'll get the next generation. It'll be like his grandkid or something like that, you know? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, make sure to click like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, you can hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, it is always a genuine pleasure of mine, a real joy of mine to share these game uh, experiences with you and to just take time out of my day and spend it with you. You are very special to me and I just thank you for your time uh, that you've given me to watch my videos and watch my content and to hang out with me and just chill out with me. Just being buddies, little, little bit of couch, you know, not couch co-op, but just sitting on the couch, hanging out, we're kicking back together and just playing games together. I love it and thank you so much for affording me that opportunity to be in your homes uh, or on your phone or wherever it may be to do that. I'm really looking forward to continuing the Halo series with you guys. Next time I see you as far as Halo goes, we'll be watching that Halo Wars video. Uh, but until then, take it easy. Searching for greatness.